It's Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015, and this is What Did I Miss, the show that finds everything that was interesting on the internet today so that you don't have to. If you like what you see here and want to show your support, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and please share the video with all of your friends. Without further ado, let's do this. It turns out that all those wives who were complaining about their husbands that don't do anything around the house have a valid point. A study of 1,300 couples found that the men who do their part of the housework end up having more and better sex. Researchers found a direct correlation between the amount of housework done and the amount of sex that they have with their partner. The odd part is men who felt like they were making an ample contribution to the household chores also enjoyed sex more than those who didn't. Researchers did state that housework is different for every couple depending on the dynamic. The study found it had the most profound effect on couples that had a hard time balancing working on the house and working in the sheets. So guys, do some dishes. Vacuum the living room, fold something, and thank me later. A Mississippi man voiced his aggravation over the potential removal of the state flag containing the Confederate battle flag. And where better to do it than at your local Walmart? The store stated that they will no longer be selling the flag, and this didn't sit well with Marshall Leonard. So he went home, made a homemade bomb, came back to the Walmart, and threw it into the vestibule. There also happened to be an employee that was on break, and Marshall told him, you better run. The bomb then went off, though it didn't cause much damage. And in fact, luckily no one was hurt. The week before, Marshall wrote on his Facebook stating that all of the stores that were refusing to sell the flag would go down with the rest of those anti-American crooks. He wasn't initially caught at the scene, but he was later pulled over for a traffic violation and then connected to the Walmart incident. It's Tuesday, but stories of terrible Halloween costumes are still coming out. Like the husband of an Oklahoma mayor. He thought it was tasteful for him and three of his friends to dress up as ghosts. Wait, did I say ghosts? I meant members of the KKK. I get those two confused sometimes. The outfit was complete with fire and a large wooden cross in their front yard. A neighbor called the police and snapped this picture. Of course, now people are calling for the resignation of the mayor on behalf of her husband's stupid act. But the mayor explained that she has no intention of doing so. The mayor stated that the group didn't see what the big deal was of dressing like the Klan when everyone else was dressed up as murderers and bombers. Although I don't recall many Hitler costumes because I'm pretty sure there's an invisible line that you don't cross for Halloween costumes. Twitter users may have noticed change in their feed. Instead of the stars that allow you to favorite a tweet, it's been replaced with a heart that allows you to like a tweet similar to that on Facebook. The company has gotten several suggestions over the years from many users and has finally listened. It allows users to better express a congratulations or love of something instead of simply saying that that tweet is my favorite, which seems pretty broad to a lot of people. You can follow me on Twitter at I'm not Jeff Hans. Something to watch out for if you plan on going to the Philippines. Airport security has been placing bullets inside of passengers' luggage to extort money from them. The security agents drop the ammunition in passengers' bags, then threaten them with arrests or fines to extort bribe money to avoid prosecution. Filipino worker and a Japanese tourist were the latest two to be detained. Other targets were taken to court for refusing to pay fines. In Science is Awesome News, Japanese researchers have developed a type of glass that is hard as steel and nearly shatterproof. The uses for such technology are many, including reinforced windows and tableware. The team is working to mass-produce the material and hope to have it commercialized in the next five years. The issue with developing the glass is when it touches the side of a container that it's being formed in, it can crystallize, making it opaque. Scientists avoid this problem by having no container, using gas to push the components together to form the glass. As it seems to be a Halloween tradition now, Jimmy Kimmel did his famous I ate all my kids candy video. So be sure to check that out. And for those of you clamoring to see John Stewart back in TV, he signed a deal with HBO. There isn't much information on it other than it's a four-year contract for short-form content on HBO Go and HBO Now. There will also be a window to make other film and TV shows down the line. John Stewart made a statement on the matter, saying that appearing on television 22 minutes a night nearly broke him. But he's sure he can produce a few minutes of content every now and then. And that's all I have for today. If you'd like to learn more about anything I talked about, links are in the description below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and please share the video with everyone you know. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow when you ask yourself, 
what did I miss? 